Hello, my viewers. Prepare to bask in unprecedented glory, because today I'm going to be reviewing NECA, the It Ultimate Pennywise action figure. That's based off the design from the It 2017 movie. Is this action figure a paradigm of resounding perfection, or is it abysmal? In my objective opinion, I'd rate this action figure to be a 7 out of 10. It's meritorious, to, to say the least. Now it comes with a cluster of accessories that encompass three interchangeable heads, two sets of interchangeable hands, and of course, a red balloon in conjunction with a paper sailboat. Now, what do I love about this figurine? I love this sculpt. It's intricately detailed. It's meticulously detailed. I love the ornate costume. It's just adorned with a bunch of embellishments, to say the least. Furthermore, I love how this figurine is burly and bulky. He stands at least seven inches tall, so he towers and dwarfs most action figures. Unfortunately, to my dismay, he lacks fisted hands. His hands are devoid of articulation. Furthermore, his toes are also devoid of articulation. And I also would be surprised if he had double jointed knees and double jointed elbows. So, his articulation is not the best per se, but he does have articulation in all, in all the requisite areas. He can move his appendages and he can be placed in nearly any pose that you can conceive of. So, this action figure offers dynamic possibility to say the least, but he does not have as many points of articulation as a Toy Biz Marvel Legends figure, but that's besides the point. I love his facial expressions, I love the demonic, condescending, demeaning, patronizing, cunning looks. He looks like he's poised for battle and ready to beat his adversaries to bloody pulp. He looks irate, livid, and ready to enter the fray and devour his adversaries alive. He looks like he has a ravenous appetite for souls. I truly, I truly love his deco. It's extraordinary to say the least and it's aesthetically appealing. I love his shadings. NECA doesn't skimp when they design action figures. They sure as shell don't skip on quality. This is a high quality, robust, state of the art, meticulously detailed figurine, to say the least. His aesthetics are eye candy. His textures truly pop out. And his accessories and interchangeable heads are anything but shoddy. Now, my only gripe appertaining to this figure is his price. You have to concede to paying over $28 to procure this action figure. I'm discontent about buying this figurine for over $28. It's outside the parameters of my budget. If I were wealthy, if I were affluent, by discretionary income, then I would buy this action figure for um, roughly $15. But since I'm indigent, since I'm destitute, since I'm impoverished, I need to abstain and desist from buying this action figure since I can't afford to buy this figurine. It's not worth it to further indebt myself in order to be able to own a Pennywise action figure. So, do I prefer this action figure over the um, other Pennywise action figure that's based off the um, IT miniseries instead of the 2017 movie? Well, I prefer the um, Pennywise action figure that's derived from um, the IT miniseries action figure line as opposed to the um, Pennywise figurine that's derived 
from the It 2017 movie, the um, other Pennywise action figure is more nostalgic. He comes with four interchangeable heads instead of three, and the costume resembles a clown. This costume looks like it comes from a time of antiquity. This costume looks antiquated. It looks dreary and drab and depressing. It doesn't have the same charm and the same level of pizzazz that the original costume has. So I prefer the original costume and the original appearance over the um, newer costume and newer appearance. But you may prefer the modernized look. It's up to you. Everyone's, preference, everyone's preferences are disparate from one another. So what I love may not correlate with what you love. So overall, I raise this action figure to be a 7 out of 10. For um, over $28, it should have more points of articulation. It should come with more accessories. It should come with action figures of the kids from the A2017 movie. And um, it should possibly come with a Build-A-Figure piece for the um, giant turtle, the part of the A series. If you recollect, the um, Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figures retailed for $8 plus tax. They have 32 to 40 points of articulation. They had intricate sculpts, they had high quality details, and they came with a uh, build a figure piece for a colossal, massive, high quality, robust, burly, bulky 12 to 14 inch action figure. So it's disappointing that we don't get more accessories and a lower price tag for um, this Pennywise action figure, but it is what it is. It's a stellar, stupendous high quality figurine, but um, this price is just unaffordable, at least for me, but if you could afford it, then buy it, so I truly can't complain. Hopefully the price will plunge over time, but it's doubtful, the supply is finite, and the demand is just outrageously high for these action figures, they're collectibles. I would love to flaunt this action figure myself. And maybe I can one day in decades from now, who knows, the future's an enigma. So, I recommend buying this NECA 8 Ultimate Pennywise action figure. That's based off the design from the 2017 IT movie. So, if you're an avid, devout horror movie fan, then this figurine will appease you. If you detest and, if you detest and disdain horror movies, then this action figure may not tickle your fancy. It's up to you whether or not to procure to, it's up to you whether or not to procure it or not, but overall, in the form of quantitative score, once again, to recapitulate, I rate it a 7 out of 10 just because it should come package with more for its price point. So, I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye. Alrighty.